Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to change the default footer in storefront of WooCommerce plugin for WordPress. Well, to do that you don't need to know PHP, you don't have to write any custom code for that. All you have to do is go to Appearance, Theme Editor, and after you get there you will receive this dialog box that says that you understand that it may harm your website so you agree and go to uh, footer theme which actually programs the uh, output HTML and here you can see two different functions that are related to the footer so storefront footer widget and storefront credit we need to find them and since they are pre-made they are somewhere in templates okay so there's nothing in main theme so you have to go to include it and find storefront template functions WordPress will highlight the function so it will be easier for you to find the needed function so here is the first one and the one that we need is storefront credit you have two if statement here and the first statement actually codes the link that we see there and it actually says that it's built with storefront WooCommerce and we're going to check if it's the place that we need to change so we go to the site scroll down and yes it actually redirects you to woocommerce.com so you're gonna change everything that is in between these quotation marks and you can paste any code you want here I'm going to paste some paragraph tags and maybe made for bad idea. Yep. So we're gonna update the the file and see the output on the web page. Refresh and here we go. Made for bad idea. So the second if statement, you can see it, it is related to privacy policy link. If you uh, publish your privacy policy web page, the condition will become true and it will insert the link in footer to this, uh, to this page. After refreshing you will see how it looks. Yep, so here we see the link to the page. We can handle it in two different ways. So the first way will be well going back to templates functions and changing the second if statement. So we can change the condition to false. In this case, when we have the false while we have published the page, we won't see this link. So you will see it in a second. So just refresh and the link is gone. So this is not the best way to do that because if we uh, do not publish it, it will be false, so the condition is met and it will try to paste this, separate it, etc. So the second way to, to deal with it is just removing the whole if statement and it will be much easier, plus it will be better uh, for maintaining the code. So we refresh it. Here we go. So the stuff is done. 
Mm, this is how you just change the footer. See you around guys, just subscribe and like the video. Bye bye.